Hi friends, every time you interact on social media, there's an algorithm and slowly an artificial mind studying your every move. This is a digital ballroom where you're the star and your dance steps are carefully memorized. Let's dive into the captivating ballet of artificial intelligence and social media. Imagine AI as a high-tech Sherlock Holmes deducing your preferences from the digital breadcrumbs you scatter on the web. Ever notice how you're introduced to ads or posts that feel like they have been plucked right out of your thoughts? Which brings us to this. Are we seeing our own reflections in the mirror of AI? Or is this mirror slowly shaping us like clay under a potter's hands? AI is like an expert librarian in a chaotic library of information. It not only categorizes the content but anticipates your next read. It attempts to predict your likes, shares and future interests. Do you see this as liberation or confinement? Is this AI guiding you towards your North Star? Or is it a restrictive compass that limits you within its magnetic field? We are on the verge of a philosophical change, trying to balance between personalization and privacy. Where should we set our course in this digital sea? Do we let the winds of AI sail us towards ever-increasing personalization and productivity? Or do we drop anchor, setting boundaries to protect our privacy? Picture this. The boundary between the physical and digital world is blurred. Your interactions are not just with your friends, but also with digital beings. AI-generated faces, as real as your own. A digital influencer, brought to life by AI, shares her latest fashion tips or the newest viral dance trend. You laugh, you like, you share. All the while, the AI is learning, adapting and evolving, creating ever more personalized experience. It can tailor content that fits your interests, mood and even your schedule. But it's not all fun and games. The AI guardian angels, invisible and vigilant, come through the digital sphere, removing harmful content before it can ever reach you, ensuring your digital realm remains a safe haven. Imagine AI's decision-making process tilts the balance. What if it starts to censor content based on biases it learned from its human creators? Consider the frustrating scenario of false alarms, where your harmless post is mistakenly flagged as harmful, or perhaps harmful content slipping through the cracks. And then there is the question of control. With AI acting as the gatekeeper, you might feel a loss of control over your own social media realm. Is it still your personal space when an AI is deciding what you should or shouldn't see? Privacy too becomes a pressing concern. For AI to shield you, it needs to see everything. You post, your likes, your shares. And this can lead to abuse. In the wrong hands, these AI guardians could become tools to monitor, to suppress, to silence. What measures can we take to ensure that the AI of our future serves us rather than controls us? Let's address the looming scenario. AI is progressively screening job applications, reducing the role of human resources. The convenience is undeniable, but at what cost? Traditional background checks focus on the criminal, educational and professional histories of a candidate. But hiring managers consider running a social media background check in the pre-employment screening process to determine if you're the right fit. Could this lead us to sanitize our online presence, only sharing safe and agreeable content for fear of potential professional backlash? Are we at risk of crafting an online persona that lacks authenticity? Is this just to make the AI happy? Are we risking the richness of our individuality, converting our unique voices into repetitive echoes? To what extent are we prepared to compromise our freedom of expression for the convenience of AI? As we give control to artificial intelligence, we must ensure we retain our humanity and individuality, even as we push the boundaries of technology. Imagine a future where AI, like a seasoned chess player, anticipates your every move. It might even suggest your next step before your fingers graze the keyboard. Is this a comforting shepherd guiding its flock or a puppeteer pulling unseen strings? This isn't some distant dystopia. It's the path we're strolling on. Are we ready for where it leads? 
Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until next time.